Hey everybody, um, Friday afternoon, TGIF, um, for those of you still working anyway, um, I'm going to do an Ironger beer this afternoon that I have never had before, but looks intriguing, I picked it up um, out of town uh, week last, last Saturday, so I'm going to do the Ironger Outbearish Dunkel. Never, like I said, never had it before, never even seen it before. Um, a little bit from the website, it says bottom fermented dark export beer, alcohol content 5%. Uh, it says up until the Second World War, dark beer was the predominant beer type in the Munich area. The hard water found in the region played a special role in producing this specialty. In his book, Beer International, the world-renowned English beer writer Michael Jackson accurately describes the Ianger alt Irish out bearish dunkel as a good example of its kind and penetrably, impenetrably dark with a golden brown gleam when held up to the light and with a warm aroma and malty taste while summing up summoning up coffee taste sensations on going down it is brewed from five types of malt two of which are torrified dark and is only lightly hopped it is produced using the traditional double fermented uh, double fermentation process so let's get this uh, this Ianger in the glass here and see what we have. I'm really looking forward to this. I like um, I like the I, all the Ianger beers I've had so far so I'm sure this will foam right over the top. Get this in the glass. Doesn't look like I'm going to get a ton of head, so I can pour a little aggressively there. Okay, we got a a brownish, brownish red beer. Got a, oh, maybe a finger, a little more of a soapy, slightly off-white head. Uh, seems to be a moderate amount of carbonation streaming up, but not a ton, so let me get a nose on this. Okay, I'm getting some caramel, a little chocolate, a little toffee, maybe some honey. Um, definitely a malty beer, um, but uh, it's fairly mild, not as much as I was expecting, really. It's not a real, real deep, uh, deep full aroma, but it's a nice, nice smelling, full of sugar candy. Sweet bread, maybe a little of uh, some dark fruits, maybe raisins. Nice smelling beer, nothing real strong there, but uh, good smelling anyway, so let me give it a taste. That toffee hits you right up front, boy, that, that is, that's there for sure. Um, so maybe uh, just a little bitterness, I don't know what they use for hops, they said it's lightly hot, but there's a slight bitterness there too. Um, Maybe some toasted nuts. Just a real light hint of maybe cardamom and cinnamon. It's really sweet and yeasty. Got a nice, nice caramel taste too though. Finishes with some nice, almost floral hops. A little roasted nuttiness. Um, some dark sugar flavors there. Not really maple sugar, just a generic dark sugar. Not really like brown sugar either, but there is that dark sugary flavor. Uh, some faint fruits, uh, maybe that's contributing to that sugar flavor. It's like almost like raisins, and then right on the finish, you get a slightly bitter finish, but you get a little bit of. Um, that sweetness of that roasted malt that kind of lingers a little bit. So far, a nice, pleasant tasting, uh, pleasant tasting dunkle. So, let me sit, let this warm up a bit. I'll come back after a while with the final thoughts and great. Okay, I'm back. It's only been uh, five minutes or so. I'm sipping on this. I'm really enjoying this. Um, mouthfeel on this, it, it, it it's medium bodied, but it, it coats the mouth well. It's got a slightly dry finish, and the malt's just kind of linger a little bit but really pleasant drinking beer um, like I said medium body not a ton of carbonation 
but just enough that um, it cleanses the mouth a little bit. Um, overall, I'd say this isn't the best uh, best dunkel I've had, but it's uh, definitely worth a try if if you like these uh, Bavarian style dunkels. Um, it's got a good taste, not real not real heavy or oppressive or anything, but uh, goes down easy. Um, it's uh, got a lot of flavor, but there's not a lot of complexity to it. This is, you know, to make you sit and think about it. Um, it's just a pleasant drinking beer to make a great session beer. At um, you've got something in my eye. Only five, only five percent. Um, make a great session beer. I mean, I could drink this. Um, I could easily throw down a few of these sitting around shooting the shit with people. And uh, like I said, good good flavor, but it's not super complex. So. It's a decent, decent beer. Um, perfect ABB for a session beer. So, I'm going to, like I said, it's not the best, but it's still darn good. So, I'm going to give the Eyinger Aldbearish Dunkel. Sort of being blinded by the sun here. They're in and out of the clouds. We've got some clouds moving in today. But, um, I'm going to give it a good solid um, 7.5 out of 10. Good solid beer. Make a like I said, make a great session beer, um, worth a shot. So till next time, everybody. Cheers. Keep drinking good beer.